True Believers, this is JAR369. Welcome back for another brand new video review. Today I'll be taking a look at the Avengers Infinity War Hero Vision Scarlet Witch by Hasbro. Now I'll take a look at the packaging. You can see there's a you can see the uh, window of the figure that exposes the accessories. You get the Avengers Infinity War Marvel logo. You get the image of Thanos. With all the six infinity stones, you get time, reality, space, um, wait, oh, wait, no, that's power, that's reality, that's, uh, soul, and mind. And she does come with the mind stone, which does make clearly sense, because she is dating Ultron, I mean, I'm sorry, not Ultron, Vision, and also warning Choki has her... Small parts may contain children under three years, blah, blah, blah. No small parts there. I'm pretty sure the hero vision is. Scarlet Witch is recommended for ages 4 plus. Avengers A logo. And also there's the, um, there's the uh, UPC. If you guys want to find this figure, go ahead. Use the UPC number here. Get the Hasbro logo here. And on the back here, you get the image of the figure. And also, three other figures in line, like Iron Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, and of course, Steve Rogers, aka Captain America. I did a review on this figure, if you want to go, if you want to check that out, I put the eye icon there. And also, there's Doctor Strange, which is I don't have, I probably need to find this figure. I mean, he does come with the Time Stone, which is, does make sense, because, hey, he was using the Time Stone. And you get the Captain America, which came with a Mind Stone, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever, forever, or I don't know how you ever said it. So, that's about it for the uh, box. Now, let's release the figure out of the plastic prison. Alright, so here we got Scarlet Witch out of the box. Now, take a look at the figure here. Focus, come on, focus. There we go. Now, the, the likeness to Elizabeth Olsen, I think, um, I think it's an okay likeness to Elizabeth Olsen. I mean, I don't, I mean, from the side, you could clearly see her, but on this side, you, it looks a little bit like Elizabeth Olsen. I mean, it's, I mean, it just looks, eh, I don't know. Now, the hair on her, I'm pretty sure in the movie, she, she doesn't have orange hair. It's just, it's just her black hair. I know Hasbro, who is making basic action figures, matches the her hair coloring, like the ones in her comics. But in the comics and the movie, she doesn't have orange or red hair. It's actually black instead of. And also, you can see there's a necklace on her her neck here. Come on, focus on that. I want to focus. You can clearly see the you can see the necklace here with the strings on it here. And also, you can see some of the the uh, lines on her body there. And also, you get the uh, lines on here. You get the textures on the jacket. Her trench coat, you can see she is wearing gloves, and also you can, come on, focus on the hands. focus yeah it won't focus on me and also nothing else on the fingers and the pants nothing else on the the pants just all black you can see the criss wrinkles the boots you see her heels here and also you can see there's a peg hole in the bottom of the feet as well I mean it's it's not that 
good of a figure. It's not that bad of the figure. It just it just very basic figure at all. I mean, there's not much detail on this basic figure. Like the Spider-Man figure has plenty of details, like the Hero Vision and the that Titan Heroes talking Spider-Man doll. Yeah. Now for articulation is his her head go fully rotates in her. Is, is hindered by her hair here. She has a bowl joint, by the way. Her arm go fully rotate, go forward and back, in and out, bend at the elbow. Uh, rotated. No wrist rotation on the each of the hands. I really like. I really wish Hasbro has like the articulation on this hand, so I can pose her like. Do this, but instead you had to do. This. Now she looks like, now she's doing the Capaldi pose. You know, I'm talking about the Capaldi pose from Doctor Who where we see a promotional image of the of the, the 12 Doctors image, outfit, whatever. And also she has leg articulation. No knees, no boot rotation. That's about it. Now for accessories, she does come with two accessories. She does come with the, um, this effect here which is in the packaging it does it does hold on to that hand here because of this loopy thing whatever it does wrap it does wrap around her hand here but but gravity just let her fall yeah gravity not included uh, Maybe you could put it on this way. No, it's just nothing. It's because it's, it's the other hand. And also, she does came with the Mind Stone. Which just has this little thing here. But can the Mind Stone carry the, uh, the uh, effect on Scarlet Witch? Let's find out, shall we? Maybe. Yeah, kind of. I think... I think it... it it holds on pretty well with the Mind Stone. Now, now she does have like a view balance on the figure because of this effect here. Try to make her stand. It just makes her fall off really easily. Maybe you had to find the display stand. Hold on. Let me just raise her arm a little bit more. Nope, still. Uh, there it goes again. So overall, I gotta say this figure is... Okay, I mean, it's not perfect. It's not bad. It's just it's okay. I mean the likeness to um, Elizabeth Olsen is Okay, the articulation is okay. I mean not not um not fully articulated, but You cannot make poses of this figure, especially you pose her hand up. I Mean the the outfit details looks good. I mean for this figure for 10 bucks I gotta say I don't think it's worth ten dollars just maybe just worth five bucks four maybe seven maybe six so overall I highly recommend getting this figure on clearance or on sale so my rate of this figure is a a six point five out of ten so that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified of new videos. And of course, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both the links will be in the description down below. This is JR369 and goodbye.